So unfortunately, exactly what we didn't want to happen last night ended up happening. And man, honestly, it was a sad night for me. The ending to season one of Yuri on Ice. And man, I gotta say, was it beautiful? It was very beautiful. I loved the episode. It was amazing. It felt a little bit compact, but man, was it so awesome. The beginning was probably the part that gave me the most feels because we get to hear Yuri say that if he wins the gold medal, he's going to retire. And that kind of goes back to when Victor told him, hey, if you lose, I'm going to resign as your coach. So it was almost like that was kind of a way to get back at him. We know that that's not something Yuri would do, but just the fact that he said that and we get to see Victor cry like, man, the feels, man, the feels. I was like, why would you say that, Yuri? Come on, man. You know how Victor feels about this. But I really think it's possibly because he wants Victor to go back to ice skating. And being a coach, he probably feels like burdens him. But I feel like Yuri somewhere deep down knows that he has this passion to do this. Victor has a passion to coach him. And he's the one who asked for it. We saw the episode where at the very end, he asked him to be his coach. And I feel like he somehow knows that Victor has a passion for being his coach, but he also doesn't want to get in the way of that. He doesn't want to get in the way of him skating. And he probably feels a little bit guilty for him not skating at the time. And honestly, I feel like that's partially why he said that. So it kind of makes sense. I don't think he really meant that the way a lot of people are taking it. But still, the fact that we got to see him so upset that he broke down. And then Yuri asked him, he was like, what's wrong with you? And he said, I'm mad. The fact that he was so upset that he was crying about it. Like, oh my God, the feels, man. This show is so good about doing that. And it wasn't as sad as a whole lot of animes can make moments like these be. But just the fact that it happened the way it did was like, man, come on. Michiro, don't, don't do this right now. At the very beginning of the episode, don't do this. We already know it's going to get serious as it progresses. Surprisingly, however, it didn't get any more serious. I was expecting to have the feels a whole lot more for this episode than I actually did last week because this is the finale. This is the season finale. So I was like, something big is going to happen. But the hardest part probably for me after the beginning was just watching JJ skate because we know JJ, he's cocky, he's confident. He's definitely feeling his abilities. He feels like he's the best at everything he does. We watched him struggle last episode because of pretty much the intensity of what he was doing. And then this episode, I was thinking that maybe he would do a little bit better, which he did, but he still slipped up quite a bit. And just seeing that was like, oh man. And JJ is normally like, he's one of those characters who's real cocky, confident. I don't really care for him, but I honestly like every single character in this series. And just watching him the way he did, because it built him up as if he was gonna be one of those characters who was tough to compete against in the end. And it wasn't that actually, he, he did real good, but he just wasn't one of the best in my opinion. But it was still good that he came in third place I honestly wanted Christopher to come in third place. And the reason I say that is because he's the oldest of them and he just wants to do it so he can say that he done it. But the fact that we just got to watch everyone skate in this episode, we saw everyone go one after another. It was just amazing. All the visuals were great. Art and animation was beautiful as usual. Got to see Peaches skate and I'm finally getting the names down a little bit better. I loved his performance. I love the reason that he wants to do it. He just wants to to show everyone the beauty of ice skating. I don't feel like he just really wanted to win all that bad, but he probably was gonna use his victory if he did win to show people, hey, I won, but it's not all about winning. It's just about having fun. He seemed like he really enjoyed it no matter what. And that's one thing I highly respect about his character. He's just one of those characters that brings joy to the show just like everyone in this one but he's just that main character to do it if it makes any sense so yeah i loved his performance as well Ultebeck, if i'm saying his name right he was just he is probably the most strange character out of all of them and one of the most interesting because 
I don't really remember his motives, but he's just like this real quiet character who is all about his passion. You get to see how much he loves it in his performance, and it just shows. And the fact that he really doesn't talk to anyone much, I'm pretty sure everyone knows by now he's talking to Yurio. Everyone loves Otebek Yuri, I don't know the ship, you guys can tell me. I don't know the name of it. But man, just Otebek is pretty awesome. I'm really digging his character. And honestly, in season two, when that comes, I hope he comes back. I'm no I'm pretty sure it's gonna have new characters, obviously, but just I hope we get more from his character. Cause really over the series as an entirety, the first season, we really didn't get much from him. We didn't get a understanding of his character until pretty much he showed up to save Yurio from his fans that were attacking him. But we don't know anything about him. So I'm hoping that definitely his character gets elaborated on a little bit more in season two. Now, JJ, Yuri, and Yuri, those were the performances. Those were the three winners. Yuri coming in second place and Yuri coming in first. And man, that was awesome. For That was an awesome moment for Yuri because we saw his frustration this whole entire series. We saw how he felt about everything. He was jealous about Yuri getting trained by Victor. He's been angry at Yuri, but I honestly, I feel like he doesn't hate Yuri as much as he says because in this episode, we get to say that that bastard better not retire. That's something that he says. So I think he kind of looks up to him in a way, even though he talks a whole lot of crap to him, but he's Russian. Uh, Russian people, I know a few Russian people, they talk a lot of crap. I'm just saying. They're nice people, but they talk a lot of crap. And that's exactly how Yurio is. So I feel like him being Russian makes a whole lot of sense. And just his character in general, being a 15-year-old kid winning the gold medal, like he's already done what he set out to do. So for season two, I don't know where it's going to go for his character. He's probably just going to try to win a couple more. He's going to push himself to get better and better. But really, if you look at it, this series so far, Yurio has pushed himself simply because of Victor and because of Yuri. Because basically, he's just about better than everyone else. I really don't think he cares about JJ. Even though JJ has these flawless performances, I don't really think he cared about him at all. He just wanted to be better than Yuri, and he wanted to soon get better than Victor. Overall, this episode was great. It was missing two things, in my opinion. And one that I'm pretty sure everyone felt was like, come on, man, where's the kiss? These two are engaged. Where's the kiss? We kept getting hinted at it like so many times. Like they would get right in front of each other, Victor, Yuri, and it's like, oh, here comes, here comes. No kiss. What's going on? I'm, everyone wanted to see that. I mean... I could care less, but I know how fans of this type of series are, including myself. It's like, where, what's going on? Where is it? We're waiting for it. Come on. Fudanchi, Fujoshi, we're waiting for it. Come on. But I think that's just to tease us probably for a little bit more of season two. I'm hoping season two we get a whole lot more of fan service pretty much because that's kind of what this anime is it's a whole lot of fan service and as of right now it's a whole lot of fan art as well my instagram is still flooded every single day with new pictures like man this this fandom is just amazing you guys are amazing and um anyway the second thing that i really just wanted out of this episode was i i know they can't stretch it but I was actually wishing they would have done one more episode, kind of like Haikyuu does after they win. Like, they won Nationals or after they beat Aoba Josai, if you guys watch Haikyuu. The episode after, it showed how everyone felt about it. It showed how Aoba felt about losing. They felt how, it showed how the other team felt about winning. So, it's just like, I, I wanted to see the reaction from everyone. I wanted to see how they felt about winning. And that's the only thing that bothered me is that we didn't get that because Ultimate lost. We didn't get anything from that. We got JJ who came in third place, who was so confident. He felt like he was going to win first. He wanted to marry his wife. We didn't get anything from that. We didn't get anything from Christopher who lost. We just, the characters who lost, I wanted to see how they felt about losing and the characters who won, I wanted to see how they felt. We got no reaction from Yurio after he won 
first place. I just really, 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 really wanted to see that because I felt like that would have made it for just a little bit better of an episode. It's not a gripe or anything like that, but I just felt like it would have made it better. But who knows? These guys that do stuff like this, art and animation in Japan, they're always on budgets. They're always on time limits. So there's a lot they can't do, but I just hope it, it seems like there was a time skip at the very end of the episode because Yuri's hair was a little bit longer, so it's probably a time skip. But I just hope at the beginning of season two, when that starts, we get to see like how they felt about winning, how their live, well, how Yuri felt about winning, how Yuri felt about winning first place, and then how JJ felt about winning third. I just hope we get like at least a brief scene where it shows everyone doing what they do after that happens so that's just something that i'm wishing for and i wish it happened in this episode but hey you never know how these guys are rushed or how hard it is for them to get out animes like this but overall this series has been great i can honestly say that out of 2016 this has been my favorite anime to watch like i've been anticipating it every week since i started watching it because the first night i found out about this anime or i decided to watch it rather i knew about it early but when i decided to watch it there were seven episodes already out i crammed all seven immediately and i couldn't wait for that next wednesday i just couldn't and i watched this anime on time like i go to work and on wednesdays i'm thinking about it all day like oh man the new yuri on ice is out i can't wait to get home and watch it and every week has been no exception since i started watching it so this anime in my opinion definitely is one that made my 2016 i'm pretty sure all of you guys feel the same every single person watching this video i can just about guarantee it because man i've seen the fans you guys are crazy and i mean crazy anyway i hope you guys like this review i hope you liked the episode i'm sure you did i haven't seen a single person complaining about it so i know that you guys liked it um if you like this review don't forget to give it a thumbs up that always helps me out don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you're not already you should be you're here so why not go ahead and hit that subscribe button and follow me on everything you see listed in the description below and as always i'll talk to you guys later see you next level peace